Hello, this is Lisa Huning of The Shifting Path. I would like to welcome you to What I Wish I Knew. In this audio series, I am talking to people who have been or are in a caregiving role for their family member. Today, I want to welcome my guest, Anne-Marie Berger, and she will be sharing with us her experiences in caring for her husband. Thank you for being here, Anne-Marie. Thank you. Um, okay, let me just say that um, during Earl's last weeks of his life, um, with the presence of doctors and hospice and so many friends and family, Earl's transition during into the last few weeks of his life was filled with uh, really unbelievable care and compassion from everybody that was involved. What I wish I had known was that despite all of that help, this is still a journey that one essentially takes alone. Uh, I walked with Earl along his path until he took his last breath, but I was not fully prepared for the frustration and the sadness that he faced as he left us all behind. Um, I thought that I was the only one who felt so helpless, and I think that I didn't respond as gently as I could have with him for all of his struggles. Uh, he eventually, and quite early on in that last couple of weeks, reached uh, the acceptance phase with uh, what I saw as great dignity and calm. Uh, in the process, he taught me to do the same. And I wish I had known this sooner to make it a little easier on him. Perhaps this is something that no one can tell you. Ah, wow. That's very powerful, Anne-Marie. Thank you. Thank you so much. God, I get all teary out here. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, okay. Thank you for allowing powerful. me. Yeah. Thank you for allowing me to share that. 